My name is Gavin Farrington. I'm a wedding photographer in Northern California, and I also operate protogtech.com, a great place for some photography tips. Okay, so um, one of the things that's kind of cool about Lightroom 6 that they've added is the ability to edit the linear and radial gradients. Um, so as soon as Lightroom gets its act together and loads this image in, and we'll have to forgive it because you can see this image is 29,000 pixels on a long edge, so it does take it a little bit to load that up. Um, Something that you might commonly find yourself doing is adding a little bit of punch to the skies. So you put in a linear, um, this uh, um, I call it a linear graduated filter, but hey, they're, they, you know, whatever. Um, the downside of this, of course, is that now, in addition to darkening to the blue sky, but we're also darkening these trees, which, you know, maybe wasn't entirely your intention. That's fine because you see here, you've Previously you had new and edit, now we have the addition of this brush tab. We can also hit shift T to enable that. And what that does is it gives us a brush where we can brush right onto that uh, that graduated filter effect. So I'm going to just use the erase tool and I'm going to do this quick and dirty because um, you know we're just trying to show you how to get this started and you guys can figure out how to do it really nicely on your own. But you can see I can erase the effect over the trees there so that when I go and turn it off, now the trees are not darkened, but the sky still is. Um, and that should be enough to get you started on figuring out how to do a nicer job of that for yourselves. All right, enjoy.